given lines L and M. So we have the graph here. Part B says find the equation of each line. So what we need first is we need a formula for this. So we have a general formula that we have for a line. So what we're going to use is we're going to use slope intercept form of a line. And that's y equals mx plus b. And my m is the slope. And my y intercept is 0b. I'm just going to outline this. So this is my slope intercept form of a line this is that formula we're going to use here all right so we have y equals mx plus b so what that tells me then is i need an m and i need a b and then i have everything i need for a line for an equation of a line okay so i'm just going to go back to our previous uh, work we had this one earlier and we know that the m for the green function or the green equation is negative seven halves so i'm going to take that and use that information over here so i know m equals negative seven halves so now what we need is we need to find b so we're going to need another point to do this so if you think about where our points are i'm going to look for a nice easy point so i'm going to pick this one and what I mean when I say easy point, I want a point that's right on the line there so I can get a nice integer x and a nice integer y value. So that is negative 1, 0. And that's kind of nice because one of our values is 0. Sometimes that really helps out when uh, you're plugging it in to 0 something out. So we have the point negative 1, 0. Now we have all the information we need to find an equation of this line L. Okay, and I'm just going to put L here so we know we're talking about line L, along with the colors helps. Okay, anyways, so remember, if this is my point, this is my X value, this is my Y value in general, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is now plug this in because we have a Y now, we have an M, and we have an X we can use. Now we can find B since we know this negative 1, 0 is actually a point on our graph. So my y is going to be 0, my m is going to be negative 7 halves, and my x is going to be negative 1 and plus b. So again, I just plug those in for x and y into that equation. And notice what happens here. I get 0 equals positive 7 over 2 plus b. So then I'm going to subtract 7 halves from both sides. So B actually equals negative 7 over 2. So now we have the equation of the line. Because remember, it's Y equals MX plus B. So that tells me it's going to be Y equals, and what is M? Negative 7 halves. We have an X, and B is negative 7 over 2. So this here is the equation of a line. Uh, line L. So now let's find the other one, the line M. Now for line M, M I'm going to work across the bottom here. And go over to the right there. Give me room. So now, again, I'm going to need that slope for that one. And we found that previously. And that slope for that one was 2 fifths. So M equals 2 fifths. And again, we need a point for this one as well because we have to have an X and a Y. So I'm just going to pick one here, and I can pick this one right here. That's a good point. We'll call that one 0, 2. That's what it is. Okay, so we have a point zero two here. Okay, now all we do is plug it in our handy-dandy formula. So again, this is my X, this is my Y. So my X is 0 and my Y is 2. So I'm going to do 2 equals m, which is 2 fifths, x, which is 0, plus b. And that's what we need to find. So now, when I work this out, 0 times 2 fifths is 0. So I get 2 equals b. It's actually pretty quick. So now we have the equation for the line once we found b, because we have m already. M is 2 fifths. 
and all we need here is m and b, and we have the equation of a line. So now my equation of this line is going to be y equals 2 fifths x plus 2, because that's a positive 2. So there's our equation of the line. Once we get that slope, it's very straightforward. We just plug and chug here. Hopefully it works.